right? Yeah. What up, rappers? I'm here to respond to one of my reviews. The first ever nasty comment, sort of nasty comment. Uh, I forgot the guy's name, but uh, look, listen here, douchebag. All right. Not everybody wants to spend over a thousand dollars, or over five hundred, or over three hundred dollars on a bike that's still, at its core, a toy or a hobby or something like that. You know, if you're doing it for a living and you got the money or you have the means to get it, great, good job, way to go, good for you. You do not suck at life. However, some people like me that work for a living or just don't feel comfortable spending that kind of money on something for themselves or whatever, they think, you know what, there's a company that's been around for decades, Schwinn, Huffy, Mongoose, whatever, and they make bikes priced for the masses, for the majority, so that we can go and we can spend some money on something and we expect the quality. If I spent $200 or $100 on something, I want to get more than three blocks on it. Call me crazy. It's not complaining about the price or the the quality of the product. It's it's just like, you know, it's stuff that falls through the crack and other people want to know it. And now those are my first reviews, so they might have been a little biased, but I was just telling you how it was my personal experience. But to answer your question about people complaining about buying the bikes, it's like not everybody wants to, dude. Not everybody wants to drop, drop over 500 bucks on a bicycle because it's a toy for most of us. We're doing it for leisure or for a hobby or whatever. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty rough with my bikes. I like to go, I, I mean, you see the bikes I get, they're mostly mountain bikes. Uh, I like to go off trails. I don't stay on the road. I do downhill stuff. I do some wicked, crazy, stupid stuff to have fun on a bike because I'm still, you know, immature or whatever. But uh, all I was saying is, look at the shitty shit that I found when you buy a bike. You know, check for this kind of stuff. I mean, it, it's like the learning process. I'm just trying to put y'all part of my learning curve. All right. So keep your nasty ass, unthoughtful comments to yourself.